Well, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a little late. I know, like I said last night in the post, I'm a little sick. I'm actually still sick, but since I'm well enough to be able to make this video, I'm going to make this NFL video today. It is about 2.41 p.m. Central Time, so 3.41 on the East Coast. In a little over four hours, at the top of the court, four hours, four hours, we're going to say four hours. Four hours, we will kick off the the Steelers-Browns game, which is a game that is honestly kind of meaningless in the grand scheme of things. In fact, the Browns are about to get flexed out of another game. Um, the Browns have not looked very good this season at all. Um, Jameis Winston with a colorful cast of characters like Cedric Tillman and Jerry Judy and Nick Chubb in the backfield. Going up against George Pickens. Yes, George Pickens. And that Russell Wilson led Seattle. Uh, not Seattle. Uh, why did I say Seattle? I meant Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh and that Bonted Steelers defense lit by TJ Watt. Cold game from what I'm from what I'm seeing. The weather is likely going to be cold. It's a game that's going to happen. Let's talk about last week, though, real quick, before we get into anything. Commanders-Eagles is on Thursday night. Now the Eagles, now they didn't look that great again, but, I mean, they were able to get the W over the Commanders with a strong fourth quarter. Dolphins are slowly getting back into the playoff race. I'm telling you, this is a team to watch out for, and they're going to be the same team to watch out for for the next couple of weeks. You know, you know, they keep racking up wins, you know, against, you know, teams like the Raiders and, you know, but, I mean, and the Rams, but I mean, hey, the Dolphins are winning games, you know. They were at one point looking completely lost, you know, with what they had at quarterback and what they had, you know, with the wide receiver game and stuff like that. They didn't, they didn't know how to get the ball to Tyreek Hill with, with these backups, with Tyler Huntley and guys like that. But now two is back, you know, and everything should be, you know, moving towards the motion of the ocean, but is it too late? Time will tell. Um, again, Browns terrible. They lost to the Saints. The Jets are just there's just they just can't be saved at this point. Like you lose 28 to 27 to the Colts. You, you just can't make that stuff up. Vikings continue to win. The Lions beat the brakes off of the Jags with a scoregami alert of 52 to 6. Um, the Bears, unfortunately for the Bears, their woes continue. They lost to the Packers on a game-winning field goal that got blocked. Notice how I said game-winning field goal that got blocked. It's not a game-winning field goal if it gets blocked, right? No, it's a game-losing field goal. So yet again, the Bears just picked them as a circumstance. Like they had that game won, and yet you know, the defense has played you know, pretty good. The offense has been very inconsistent, you know, like DJ Moore has been hurt, you know, some other guys been kind of just kind of in and out of the lineup and stuff like that, or just playing very inconsistently at that offensive line. It's not been very, you know, great because Caleb Williams gets sacked way too much. It, it's a never ready really revolving door. The, the the front office, GM, you know, head coach, OC, DC, everybody on that coaching staff is, you know, on a thin line at this point for the Chicago Bears. Everything is not looking too good for him, you know. You're only up four wins. We're about to be into week 12 of the regular season, and, you know, four wins, you know, under 500 ain't going to cut it at this point. Um, again, the Rams, they continue to win. They beat the Patriots. That's good for them. Seahawks actually stunned the 49ers. Um, a pick late. You know, you know, a pick late. You know, there, 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 there was something that was just going, you know, off in the off in the rattle for the 49ers. And yet, Geno Smith was able to run in and get the game winning TD for the Seahawks. Um, the Steelers did score a touchdown against the Ravens. Just, just to be quite cruel with you, you know, Ravens offense they can they can do they can do a lot, but some but. For some reason, that Steelers defense was able to keep Lamar Jackson and company contained. It was a, it was a game where you know, again, the Steelers didn't score a touchdown on offense. Like the Ravens were out of sync, you know, only scoring sixteen points. You know, there was just times, you know, at this game where I'm sitting here like, what are the Ravens doing? And then the fourth down, 
you know, the not the fourth down, the two point conversion. I keep getting my stuff wrong. The two point conversion, one of the worst two point conversion attempts I think I've seen in quite some time. And Lamar runs the outside that doesn't do anything. It didn't do anything. There were some questionable plays in this game by the Ravens yet again, and that cost them this time. I'll tell you another team. Well, it ain't cost them yet, but the Falcons, you know, losing the way they did to the Broncos. I mean, Bo Nix is having a show with Cortland Sutton. He's just, he's just, Bo Nix is just, he's living in his own world, and we're just here to enjoy the ride. Um, again, my Cowboys look terrible. Texans kind of look kind of bad, too. You know, CJ Stroud has thrown way too many picks, but Joe Mixon has been running all over people. So, it kind of cancels out. Joe Burrow's performance, unfortunately, just just isn't enough. Like it's bad how it's bad how bad that defense for the Bengals is. When you're getting carved up by Justin Herbert with with, with basically no wide receivers. Yeah, Lad McConkey is he's, he's a rookie and he's young and he's doing his thing, you know, being a pretty good rookie. But the Bengals defense just really has no excuse at this point. It's just bad. It's a bad Bengals defense, and we need to start admitting that it's bad. And Burrow and Chase, their play is just not enough at this point because, again, the Chargers scored 34 points. You know, you know, I haven't really seen the Chargers as a threat this year because of you know how how they played sometimes, you know, and because of the teams they've beaten. But yet, here they are, make the plays they need to make. You know, the Chargers make the plays they need to make to stay in this thing, and they should be in pretty good position, to be quite honest with you, because the rest of the AFC is kind of bad, you know, safe from Miami because they're getting themselves back together. Um, and last but not least, let's talk the big one. Bills Chiefs. Josh Allen, you are a legend. You know, again, this man, you know, will – go to and beyond for his team, you know, Patrick Mahomes and company, they look like the Chiefs that we've been looking like all season, that we've been seeing all season. They look like the Chiefs that we've seen all season. Yep. You know, the inconsistent offense, you know, for the Chiefs was able to make it a game and keep this game very uncomfortable for Buffalo. And Buffalo had to pull one out. They had to pull one out, you know, with Josh Allen getting the first down, getting the touchdown, you know, late, picking off Mahomes, you know, you know, once or twice. And, I mean, they just made the plays necessary, the Bills did, to finally knock the Chiefs off from being unbeaten. We have no unbeaten, so the 72 Dolphins can celebrate yet again. So, yeah, good for the 72 Dolphins. They get to celebrate another year of no unbeatens. <laughs> the ones that are left anyway. Anyway, so now on to week 12. Well, the Giants have a QB controversy at this point. It's looking like we will get Tommy DeVito versus Cooper Rush on Thanksgiving. And it's gotten so bad that Daniel Jones is taking snaps at safety from what we've heard today. You know, it's that bad. The rest of the slate is not good either. I mean, you have Titans, Texans, Vikings, Bears. I mean, that should be a decent game. Fortunately, I have to suffer my weekly dose of masochism with the Cowboys against the Commanders. You know, Patriots, Dolphins, Dol you know, Patriots may not be bad per se, but they are mediocre and basically out of the playoff race, to be quite honest with you. Chiefs, Panthers, I know, I know, I know, I know. Chiefs are probably going to struggle, and it's probably going to be like a 21-13 game. But, you know, or they might even lose, to be quite honest with you. But, you know, Bucks giants does that scream, you know, a good game right there, especially with all the QB controversies going on? Lions-Colts could be intriguing, you know. But I'm one, But is anybody going to stop the Lions anyway? Because, again, they just put up 52. They just beat the brakes off of Dallas people. So they beat the brakes off the Jags. They beat the brakes off of everybody. They didn't beat the brakes off of everybody. Even when, even in games where it seems like, you know, oh, well, they, they only beat Green Bay by 10. No, it was pure domination from start to finish. What are we talking about here? Broncos Raiders. <laughs> 
it, it's getting bad. It's getting bad. But, hey, at least the afternoon slate will kind of save you. Cards, Seahawks, again, the Cardinals, led by Kyler Murray, rookie sensation Marvin Harrison Jr., you know, they lead the NFC West. The 49ers, the Packers will kick off at the same time. Niners do not have a defense at all at this point. I mean, they're either injured or just making too many minimal mistakes. Packers, you know, trying to continue their momentum. You know, again, they got thrashed by Detroit a couple weeks ago, trying to continue their momentum with Jordan Love and company. Eagles-Rams is the Sunday night game. It's actually an interesting Sunday night game. Again, the Rams are 500. The Eagles trying to continue winning. You know, Matthew Stafford and company, you know, they're getting all their weapons back. They're getting – they're looking like a team that can play again. I mean, the last time Kyron Williams didn't score a touchdown is crazy. Like, that's how you know things are – that's how you know things are looking right up on track. And the Rams are in perfect position to skip back in the playoff race in the first place. And then the Harbaugh brothers – We'll fit, cap off things on Monday night. Ravens, Chargers, it's going to be a good one. Oh, my goodness. The feast before the Thanksgiving disaster that is what our Thanksgiving slate of games is. You know, it's going to be a good one. That's going to be a good one. Lamar versus Herbert. You know, the other, the two quarterbacks that also can't seem to beat, you know, Patrick Mahomes when it matters, you know. But, I mean, Josh Allen, he wins this week, you know. He wins the battle this week. Buffalo still does not have the first seed, though, in the AFC. Just remember, it's still Kansas City. Yes, they have the one loss, but Bills have two losses. Detroit firmly in holding of the one seed in the NFC right now. So, in any case, I'm ready for week number 12 of college football. Not I keep making mental mistakes. I meant to say the NFL. I meant to say week 12 of the NFL. Week 12 of, week 12 of college football already passed. We're on week 13. But, yeah, week 12 of the NFL season is right around the corner. It will be starting in just about four hours or so. So, you know, make yourselves ready to go. And for those that are still here, there is more coming. We are doubling. We are doubling up tonight. So I'm going to. Get on out of here and get to work on some big, big stuff. So just give me a couple hours, and I'll see you soon for the state of indoor arena football, November 2024 edition, baby. See you soon.